All right, let's start it up. We are back with another game of Sasori, another game of Deceiving. We're playing Sasori again, um, because, well, this is my favorite character. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't really need a big reason beyond that, but I also heard that this setup we're running here is OP, and I just had to try it for myself. I need to, you know, figure it out for myself. So what we're running here is the Weapon 3. Um, it's kind of funny how far this thing is, has came. If you've watched way back when Sasori first came out and I like first tried the weapon three, my analysis, gotcha. my, my results of my analysis were that this weapon was garbage. And it was at the time, but honestly, it didn't receive all that big a buff. Um, and just things have been buffed around it and <laughs> that sort of thing. And it's now potentially being called OP. Longer than sharpening so, my knives. That's talk about what it does and why it might be too good and maybe how it got to that state Opening new doors, um, much obliged. so first and foremost the weapon itself like also soy's weapons has a knife and a needle also these ones have dinos on them um, it's important but you know the dino needles um sorry i'm keep thinking about to get shot okay we're good. We get our blue key card. We get in here. So we're going to mostly talk about the needles. They're, they're pretty much most of the weapon. Um, but the needles, of course, range three per second. No reload. Um, you just kind of keep throwing them. They don't really do any damage. They do seven to the body and ten to the head. But they do have a special effect on them where they do bonus damage based on the number of debuffs debilitating effects, if you will, um, that a target has. So uh, we've stacked some debuffs here, but let's talk about actual numbers since that's the kind of mood I'm in right now, I guess. Um, so debuff wise, there's a... Oh boy. Ooh, okay. Uh, I need my cover back, please. We also should turn that off. One's act. There's some profit. food. Um, right, debuff. So the actual numbers for things are um, our needles gain five and a half damage per debuff on the target. And if you're wondering how half a damage works, it rounds up. So the first, if you have one debuff, it's gonna do six damage, uh, but it stacks. So if they have two buffs, five and a half and five and a half is 11 damage exactly. So you don't actually get 12 damage, you get 11 bonus damage. Um, and then for three debuffs, um, it's, it's 17. It's like you add six, you add like six and then you add five and then you add six and then you add five. And it caps out, I believe, at four debuffs so we're also gonna hit this even though technically we're sitting here there we go Oop. Nice. let's grab that so yeah so it, we do a lot of damage so seven to the body plus you know uh six eleven seventeen stacks up pretty quickly to da in the damage category and if you're wondering how the headshots interact with all this you just add three damage. The headshot damage doesn't really affect the bonus damage you get. Um, you just get uh, three more damage rating in the head, because that's the headshot value of 10 instead of 7. So you're not really headshot dependent, which is nice. Plus three damage is plus three damage. It's not nothing, but let's be honest, it's not a lot. But now let's talk about how easy it is to get debuffs, and this is kind of how this has risen from... Uh, maybe not good to maybe OP to that person, not... Okay, well... There was two of them, and then... I don't know, I just had a weird vibe. Shell here for a moment. My heat's gone. There it goes. So, um, debuff-wise, let's just say what debuffs we have before we get into anything else. Um... Look for another Ooh. Okay, so, debuff-wise, built into our kit, on our expertise, 
we have poison, and then our passive gives us trace, so that's gonna be two. Um, and then we have the goo pods are gonna give a big AoE slow for a third debuff. We never actually mentioned the sword, but the sword also has a built-in slow effect on it. Um, so that could be a form of slow, but honestly, it's not very good. The sword only does 15 damage and still has a bit of that um, animation lock when he puts it away, so you can't really do stuff while he's putting the sword away. Um, frankly, you'll probably never see us use the sword, especially since we've got the goo pods to this game. Instead of sorting, I will just throw the goo pod. It'll be easier, wider, and last longer. So we end up with three debuffs. If we hit all of them, plus 17 damage, plus 07 for, you know, the needle existing, is going to be 24 body shot damage. And if we do hit a headshot, plus three to that, seven, or 27, which is a big number. <laughs> we hit some big numbers, um, hitting 24 to the body at three a second. Um, we can kill people really fast, and that's kind of why this weapon's been strong before, but in contention for OP now. And the reason for that is how easy poison is to get on this weapon now with the buff to Expertise 1, which we're running here. The ability to turn it on and off. I shouldn't be standing right here, but whatever. Um, and its ability, now that it doesn't have any animation, uh, it still has some, but for the most part, no animation. I'm kind of sus of this dog. Rob. No, maybe not. I'm staying ready, just in case. That's why I'm leaving my poison on. Even though it does have a bit of animation lock on it. One side. Um, even though it does have a bit of animation on it now, it's going to be slightly faster for us to do it that way. And it was. Um, that was a great example, though. We put the goo pod down. We um, <laughs> Then we just kind of went ham with our expertise on. We actually do have to be slightly scared right now, though, because we don't have our expertise. And that is kind of the downside of Sasori with this. It's all your damage, or at least, you know, 11, <laughs> 11 damage on each body shot is built into having your expertise up which is why expertise one wasn't so good before oh my gosh i think doug just took someone out was that a package carrier though it was okay it wasn't actually doug who took someone out Ooh. there's life Okay, we're stuck in my own goo pod for a second. Hang on. There we go. This is done. All right. Wow. So we showed off pretty well exactly what can happen. We can even stop mid fight and throw basically six damage and a slow it, or six damage per shot and a slow at someone here, um, and it becomes valuable. Especially we saw them put down shields. We can throw use the time they're behind the shield to throw a goo pod at the shield. Um, to get the slow for the bonus damage. Might have use for that. And we can kind of see that this is a lot easier to do now because of this Expertise 1, which I stand by and was an excellent buff and definitely needed. One of our hands is missing, just one. <laughs> um, but it definitely did or may have, that's what we're discussing, push this one over the edge. There's plenty more suitcase in the sea. But, uh, Let's do this again. We'll see. Maybe that was a fluky game where we just crushed, what, four people? Uh, yeah, four people with uh, <laughs> just kind of holding left click on them and throwing some goo pods around. Anyway, let's let's do a game too and we'll continue to talk and form some opinions here. All right, Diamond Spire here for game two. Let's do it. And we started at the top. No need to run to the top to work our way down. We just get to go. Checking this off Ooh, my whoop. list. It's a bit right. gaudy for me. Not too bad. Um, which way do we want to go? Around that this way might get us going to tell, but cutting across here to the green. Eh, there's two there. Honestly, it's probably similar at this point. And there we go. So. I think we covered most of what I had to say about the weapon. We're just here to show it off one more time, form some opinions on how good it really is. There is 
one bug that came to mind I wanted to talk about, and it has to do with uh, this expertise in particular. Um, it happens on a lot of them, but it's really noticeable and really important on this one that you're aware of it if you're trying uh, this build. Uh, if you have the package and you use package vision, it will turn off your expertise as if you canceled it. Um, which uh, can be a big deal because we did talk about how the uh, expertise is most of you damage, doing plus 11 damage to every single shot. So kind of a big deal if you accidentally turn it off by package visioning. And I think that's okay for me to talk about because I don't think... I don't think there's a way you can abuse it. You just kind of end up worse off than you would have been. Um, well, we're going to have to bust in here as a green guy and... Okay. This is just an empty guard room. Cool. Well, if anyone comes, we'll be shooting them. We're also just in the wrong disguise, already risky, but there's no one here to take a disguise from, so... Do our best. There is no vault terminal in this location. Kind of annoying. I did move. I'm still working on field upgrades, so... I mean, feel free to copy it, but I still don't know how good this is. <laughs> but I did move my cover accelerator from blue to gold. And now I'm slightly regretting it because I'm not going to get it. Ooh, oh, 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 is that right below me? Oh my goodness. To the roof. We don't have any damage fall off. <laughs> I have to lead the shot. Oh my gosh, we did it. <laughs> Oh, we went in the other door. <laughs> Dang it. Of all the things. Okay. Standards are much lower. I used way too much ammo, but wow. Um, okay, plus two. I think we search and see if we can get the blue and then we'll worry about our ammo issues. Seven shots is enough. Hopefully. Right, let's see if we can't find... I just opened that. <laughs> see if we can't find... There we go. That's good. Gotcha. Where's your security badge? They probably went out. They did. Oh, they went up. I should have gone up. I don't have time right now. Next time, try to do it yourself. You did well. Take some time. Oof. Easier exploration. I am that possible. solves the ammo issue. That's one way to solve the ammo issue. <laughs> I don't know if the sword there was correct. I probably should have just meleeed twice. I think it's faster. Um. All right. Well. Downstairs we go. That Larson was not expecting anyone to be in there. And our expertise is now back up. We're ready to go. Job's done. You could run a little expertise cooldown on this. I don't know if it's going to be a huge help. I think you just have to be aware of when your expertise is off cooldown and play as if you don't have it. I don't have this. Are we about to get shot? No, somehow, somehow all of that was fine. Okay. Vault terminal located. I'm, I don't know how we got in. I'm, it was like that is why you are our favorite. a really sus civilian and like a really sus. Um, I want to see which is actually that way. I guess we're following the line now. All right, this is why we put a cover accelerator up on gold here so that we can get the maximum speed on our cover bar so we can make plays like this as we bump into every single wall. I'm glad no one saw that. 
Um, there we go. I'm not even, I'm like running as if I, I'm like, it's in my head. The run speed of blue covers kind of like in my head now. So I'm still doing a lot, even though I have the gold and I should be doing it at gold speed, which is faster or more often running. How much faster it is is actually, seems pretty good though. Like we just do this every so often. You know what, let's take the outside path. I feel like less people will be looking this way and not see me doing the kind of obvious run walk thing that I'm doing. You are late. This vault terminal has been deactivated hey. by arrival. Now we have to worry a little bit about camping. How long's this game been on for? Not overly long. There's a body here though. Now we really have to worry about camping. There's... He's stuck in the door. I'm gonna get ready here. Of course, I the terminal. Oof. You never see a weapon three sword kill. <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> I just kind of threw it out of habit because I'm so used to weapon one. There, we obviously weren't getting the slow damage, so we're missing actually six damage. So we were doing 11 and 7 is 18 a shot. I kind of thought that would be the last person, considering we've been to like every vault terminal. But they were. I don't want to accuse them of camping because, you know, while I said they could be camping, they also could have just walked in here and uh, put up their tripwires as I came in. So we can't know for sure. And they weren't even in the vault as like a mimic. So, you know, probably weren't realistically. Hmm. Very sus person who looked just like me. We're gonna throw one of these little movements in there. That's something NPCs do a little bit of when there's a, uh, another NPC sitting. They like to walk around their feet a little more than most players do. All right, well, they didn't follow me in. I shouldn't even be walking here realistically, but we're not making use of our suspicion bar at all. Like, if you're just sitting there with no suspicion bar, are you, like, using it properly? <laughs> like, if it's not actively ticking down, then you're kind of wasting sprinting time. Um, this takes so long now. <laughs> I'm still not used to how long it takes to hack some things. Just the purple hack speed. I don't even run gold hack speed. I can't imagine if you were used to hacking stuff at gold speed. And then they were like, oh, gold its speed doesn't affect those anymore. What an odd movement by Doug. Opening new doors. Much obliged. Oh wait, I actually do need that. Very nice. Um, well, I don't have a bounce pad, so I was gonna say let's bounce pad up. It'd be kind of cool. And then no bounce pad, which I think we used way back against the Larson even. So it's a good thing we didn't need it until then. Oh, I know why E took so long. It's because the red killed the cab and then he killed the red. That's a vigil. All right, if only detected was a useful debuff. Well, imagine you could just hold Q on the package and then uh, you just did bonus damage, but obviously you can't swing and 
You can't hold Q and throw your weapon out at the same time. Who is it? This person? It is. They are... They are so scared. Did they see me wiggle? No, they're just, like going the other way. I guess we're just gonna run this way. I'll even leave a goo pod behind. I don't... I don't quite understand the play, but... Who am I anyway? I didn't really check if anyone else was around, which was a mistake. If there was another person chilling in Diamond's Fire, we'd be in a tough spot right now, but I think we're okay. Had to waste a bit more intel than I wanted, but we get to see the lemonade stand. Someone told me I never showed this in a video before, but this is not new. <laughs> uh, but there's a lemonade stand there now from way back um, when they added it. I can't even remember like when they added it. Maybe the Vigil's is going for event points. They just like didn't want to die in the vault and just want to grab event points. That's all I got. I don't... They were very scared. And they can't make it here on time, which was the reason I ran out to this one, because I didn't think they'd be able to make it here in time. But I thought they would do... I thought they would try, and it would be cool, but... We did have some really nice kills this game, so even though a bit of a lackluster ending... <laughs> the red bodies there, I think. Um, it's under the car now. There was somebody there. Um, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on Sasori Weapon 3. Is it OP now? Is it balanced? Is it about time? <laughs> uh, is it just its turn? I don't know. There's tons of schools of thoughts on this one. Um... You know, everyone's got their own opinion, so let's see some of that. And uh, do like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for deceiving content like this, and I'll see you in the next one.